What is the easiest thing to sell on Etsy? If you want to know the answer to that question, make sure you stay all the way to the end because you might not realize that what you have in front of you in your shop could actually become one of the easiest things to sell on Etsy. So stay tuned to the end because um, at the very end of the video, I'm gonna show you how what you already have could be one of the easiest things to sell. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dylan Jaris. I'm an Etsy shop owner of six and a half years. I regularly do 30 to $40,000 a month on Etsy. I've made nearly $1.35 million on the platform. I'm actually gonna show you my screen on my computer so that you can see that I'm not making this up. I live in Southern California. I'm also a wife, a mom of two boys, and my whole background is in e-commerce. After business school, I worked for Zappos, which is owned by Amazon, and Zulily, the flash sales site. So I've built my business up six and a half years. Nothing I've done is by luck. It's all strategy. So now I've hired out production for my shop and I teach other people how to build their own multi six figure Etsy businesses. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the easiest thing to sell on Etsy. And it might not be what you think. A lot of people are preaching digital downloads, print on demand, it's passive income. It's the easiest way to make money. That is causing so many people to flood this category on Etsy. Half the designs are mediocre. I think there's a misconception that those are the easiest ways to get started on Etsy. So no matter if you do print on demand, digital downloads, vintage supplies, handmade items, I'm going to give you the easiest things that you could be selling within your category. The easiest thing to sell, no matter what arena you're in, is something that helps people make money or that helps people save money. Because when you are selling something that fits into those parameters, you are selling an investment. You're selling something that gives the customer a return on that investment. It's a financial or maybe just a very practical return. It's probably either gonna save them time or save them money. Okay, so selling things that help someone make money. You might be thinking, well, I don't wanna have to just sell to other businesses or entrepreneurs. I don't wanna become a B2B business myself. And you don't have to. That's not the only way to do this. You could also look at selling things that people maybe need or use or wear while they're working. Because these purchases are oftentimes seen as more business career expenses versus frivolous expenses. I believe that frivolous items are going to be a bit more challenging to sell over the next 12 to 18 months. And it really depends on the type of customer that you've chosen to sell to. So for frivolous items, if you're selling to kind of low discretionary income type of customers, you're gonna see a different impact on your business versus selling to customers who have a high discretionary income and maybe more stable jobs. It really depends on does that customer change their spending behavior when there are changes in the economy? That's what you wanna look at. So I'm not saying if you sell frivolous items, you are totally screwed, but I am saying that you might wanna take a look at who your customer is for those types of items, what their level of job security is, what their discretionary spending looks like, and you know the magnitude in which changes in the economy affect their spending behavior. Back to items that help people make money or help people save money, right? Where there's an ROI, a return on the investment. What would examples of this be? You know me, I have a list. So we are thinking dental scrubs, nurse scrubs, scrub caps, medical badge reels, laptop bags, work totes, interview preparedness worksheets, business cards, social media templates for businesses, website templates, small business signage for physical, maybe brick and mortar businesses or restaurants, restaurant menu templates, realtor flyers and tools, employee gifts, business apparel for employees like t-shirts or hats or apparel that businesses have their employees wear, client thank you gifts or promotional items, digital course creation tools, maybe office interior design packages, Canva templates, done for you services. So really having a service element to your business where you're offering maybe website building, social media management, building custom lead magnets, maybe travel related items or accessories for business travelers, logos and branding design, kind of a done for you service, home office organization tools, maybe business branded stickers. Now let's talk about things that help people save money. Maybe travel mugs, right? For, because maybe people are making their coffee at home instead of going to Starbucks so much. Maybe accounting spreadsheets or tools 
or business inventory tracking tools, maybe budgeting worksheets, wedding invites that are editable. So this is so that you're not having to go out and have custom wedding invites made just for you. And in general, you know, quality items that are made to last, items that people know they will invest in and they won't have to keep investing in it because it breaks, gets outdated, etc. All of those things help people save money. Okay, so maybe you're thinking, oh darn, I don't have any of those things in my shop and I don't really want to put any of those things in my shop. You know, I guess I'm just going to be fighting this uphill battle with my frivolous items in a recession, but we have to stop that way of thinking and we have to get resourceful. So how can you repackage your items that you already have in your shop with new marketing? And how can you repackage those items into an investment that gives someone a return, whether it be a financial return, either helping them make money, helping them save money, or perhaps a return to help save them time because time is money. So here are some examples of that. Let's say that you sell candles and you're thinking, oh man, like, yeah, these are definitely more of a want, not a need. How can a candle help someone make money? What if you tied that candle into, you know, a brand identity of a brick and mortar business. So what I'm thinking here is that store Anthropology, where they are known for their store smelling and radiating that scent from their volcano candle. This is what they've become known for. They utilize scent in their brand to create a premium customer experience and attract premium customers. So they're really utilizing a candle for a very practical purpose of building their brand identity. And this in turn affects customer retention. Now you might be thinking that is a wild stretch, Dylan. I don't know about that. You know, it doesn't need to be a candle. Maybe it's another type of scent or another type of you know, sensory item that a business really ties into their brand identity. You know, I'm thinking of that store Abercrombie. They just have their vents just like pumped with that perfume, that perfume that they're known for. Think about how you could tie your items into you know, the brand identity of another business. So how can you make your items be something that, you know, they are known for having in their customer experience? Let's do another example. How about digital prints, right? Digital prints like wall art. You might think, oh yes, this is definitely a frivolous expense. This is not a need. It's definitely a want. It doesn't help people make money. Well, from the onset, no, it doesn't. But how can we package and retarget that listing towards a profitable customer who sees that item as a way to make money or as a way to save money? I'm thinking let's target house flippers, maybe house staging companies, maybe office buildings that have a budget for decor. You need to be resourceful and you need to be thoughtful about how you're packaging your items. Don't just see it for what it is. See it for what it could be. Now, if you need help figuring out how to repackage your frivolous items um, into something that gives your customer an ROI, helps them save money or helps them save time, which is money, let me know. I love to do this. Uh, this is my passion. This is what I'm working with my students on um, in our community group day in and day out. So I would love to work with you and help you out. This is my expertise and I am helping students from all over the world right now. You know, some are starting their businesses from zero dollars. Some of them are already making $30,000 a month. It really doesn't matter what level you're at. You can always be improving your business and making it more recession proof. So if you want my help, you can email me at team at dylanjaris.com or you can find me on Instagram at dylanjaris. I love chatting with you there and we can talk more. If you like this video and you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one.